Hello, I'm Holly. Today I'm here to give you an in-depth look at my lip balm haul that I picked up tonight. These are all Lip Smacker brand. We'll get around to it in a minute. On my lips today, I am wearing the NYX Bright Idea Illuminating Stick in Rose Petal Paw. Okay, we're going to start with this Lip Smacker Kiss Therapy SPF 30 Lip Balm. In the flavor grapefruit, which is relatively easy to get out of its pack. My cat wants to be in the video. This is Miss Moodle. Okay, um, I like the packaging on these. They they call them Kiss Therapy on this, and on the other one it says RX Medicated. So they make each one of them, as you can tell, look like a little peel. We got green and white, and we got pink and white. And they got these little kiss with the... Oh, the RX symbol, the little plus. And I'm going to open this up and smell. That smells real good. And of course it twists up on the bottom. These are kind of like a Blistex, but maybe a little cheaper. Okay, and what we're going to do is just swatch. No color. But outrageously strong grapefruit flavor. Really nice. Now, of course, I think you would probably have to reapply these after a couple, after maybe an hour or two. We're moving on into the the green one, which is Lip Smacker RX Medicated. You go at this mint, obviously in a green and white peel form. Now, I really love both eucalyptus and mint scents. I feel like when sniffing this, I don't really get much of a eucalyptus scent, but a lot of a mint. And I'm going to guess there's not going to be any color. It's no, no color. Now we're moving on to this. The only one I got that ain't a ball. This is a squeezy lip smacker um, in Coca-Cola. I love how it comes with this little keychain that looks like a kiss mark says Lip Smacker loves Coca-Cola. On the back it says taste the feeling. And you can take this off and you can use it as a normal key ring. Now, I'm sure this is going to smell great. I love their Coke ones. Absolutely wonderful smell, Tony. Can't you almost smell that through the screen? And I'm sure it's going to leave a teeny gloss of a color. You'll see just a slight brown. Oh, uh, but yeah, these are absolutely amazing. Now we're moving right into the Mini Mouse three pack, which it says it has watermelon whirl, cotton candy crush, and cupcake. Now, now we're gonna go ahead and open this. No. And take, there's my cat wanting to get in the video. Okay, and here we have the first one is cupcake flavor, a black tube with a blue cap. Inside it's a pink. It's got a slight ice creamy type flavor, no color. Um and next we move on to cotton candy crush, which is a yellow tube with Minnie Mouse on it and a pink cap. Not much of a scent to this one. And of course, there's not going to be any color. There, I noticed though in the Minnie Mouse ones that they have a little bit of sparkle. I don't know if you can catch that on the camera, but you know, there is a little bit of sparkle to these products. And the last one in the Minnie Mouse collection is this spotted one with a red cap. Got an old school looking Minnie Mouse hunt and it's called Watermelon Whirl. And it's a pinky red. And we're going to swatch it right here. See, also, a little bit of sparkle in it. There's some very fine milled glitter in this product. We're going to move over to the other Disney set here, which is the Disney Descendants Lip Smacker Trio 624. And it has Apple of My Evie, Malevolent Chocolate, and Evie Baked Muffin. So... 
No focus on any other characters besides just Mel and Evie. Kind of sad. So, first we have out on my Evie, which is got this picture of Evie on it. And it's red. Let's see if it leaves any color. No, but it does have a nice shimmer to it. it yeah, it leaves a pale pink. And it has just a teeny bit of shimmer. And it's got a nice cinnamony apple smell to it, which means I'm allergic. Um, then we have Malevolent Chocolate. Which is a white chocolate. And it has mail on it. Now we're going to swatch it right next to that one. No color, just a teeny bit of that shimmer. Now this isn't like the glitter that was in the mini. It's more of like a shimmer powder kind of built into it. And last we have Evie Baked Muffin. As you see, there's another picture of Evie. These all have the black cap and black twist on them. And this one is a brown cookie type one. Kind of like a chocolate chip cookie. It leaves a very faint yellowy brown with some shimmer. And it smells absolutely delicious like a spice cake. Now I'm going to wipe my hand off of my pants here. Y'all got to get over that. And uh, next we move on to the Lip Smacker Best Flavor Forever Trio. The original and best flavors. Which has strawberry, watermelon, and Dr. Pepper. Now... I haven't made a lip balm haul on here before, so y'all don't know this, but I absolutely love the Dr. Pepper Lip Smackers. They're among my favorite flavors with the buttercream frosting. It's another favorite that they discontinued years ago. So we're going to start with the non-soda flavors here. And we got strawberry, and everybody knows the old-fashioned strawberry, just in a normal kind of thing with a red lid. Very nice strawberry scent. Kind of a medium scent. Leaves no color. Just slight shine. Okay. On to the watermelon, which it's another one of the old-fashioned tubes. And green everything. Pink lettering. Pink inside. Again, we'll swatch it right next to that. It don't even have as much shimmer as the strawberry. Just basically shine on those. Dr. Pepper, these are outrageous. They're awesome. Oh, man, so good. I could just eat this, but I won't. And they leave, you know, oh, man, they fixed it where it don't leave as much of a red anymore, but it's more of a pink with a little bit of shimmer into it. I like them better when they let more of a red now, we're going to move on to the one that caught my mom's attention earlier and my boyfriend's attention. And I'm curious about how these are going to go because they are flower scented, okay? And they're the Garden Bouquet Collection Trio here. It's got nice, you know, metallic packaging. And it, the color, I mean, the flavors in it. Or citrus, sunflower, coconut, orchid, and blackberry violet. Oh, God, that sounds like it'll be so nice. And my boyfriend is close enough on me here opening the pack. Okay, and so he's also showing you this big bunch of trash I've got over here. So I'm, we're going to start with coconut orchid. Stop touching my hair. And it's pretty. It has flowers all over the tube. You see the coconut, and you see the orchid down in them. And it's got this nice um, cloud-type design. Pink on top and bottom. Pink inside. Oh, that is awesome. It smells kind of like, you know, um, Hawaiian Tropic Sun Tan Lotion. Smell and I'm sure it's probably not going to leave color. It doesn't leave any color, but it does have that microfine shimmer like the Mickey, I mean Minnie Mouse did. I love the, the flavor, the scent. Next we have Citrus Sunflower, and it's got a coral top and bottom. 
And then you see it's got these sunflowers on it. And it's got some lemons up at the top. So this is going to be sunflower and lemon. I really preferred the scent of the, the coconut and orchid. Smell. So, a swatch right here next. No, I like that. It leaves a very, very sheer gold hint. I like the color a lot better than the scent. Okay, and then the last one is this blackberry velvet. I love the tube of this. The purple and the blue together. Very nice. And then pink dots on the background over here. And it's got a purple, medium purple, top and bottom. And it's a very pretty purple in here. Looks like, I don't know if y'all remember these, but back in the 80s, Swan used to have where you could get these strawberry pops or these grape pops. And they had this kind of color. And Welch just made some, and they're so good. It's an interesting smell. And we're going to swatch right here. And very, very sheer. Kind of a pink. Very sheer with like a gold. All of these seem to have gold undertones. I really like the one that just went on straight gold. The, the sunflower. Now, we're on to the last bunch. Where is it? Oh. The last bunch. My boyfriend picked these out for me. And this is the 8-pack Smoothie Chillers. And it says it's cooling and refreshing. It says it has Mango Madness, Honeydew Kiwi, Coco Loco, Pomegranate Zing, Oh My, a kind, oh, Citrus Squeeze, Vanilla Orange Zest, and Jamaican Me Berry Crazy. So, this should be interesting. So, here's how they look in the pack. Packed very nicely. You see this little Smoothie Chores logo here. And there it is in black and white on the back. Oh, and on this one it looks like they have a spot to try to open it. And we're going to go ahead and try to use that spot that they provided. Hey, works very nicely. Sorry, my glasses are falling off people. And there's how they look in the pack. Look at this massive amount of trash that's piling up. <laughs> oh, right here. So we're going to go ahead and just spill these out onto the bed in front of me. I'm starting with Mongo Madness. Look, they all say smoothie chillers on them. And this has a nice dark coral. Top and bottom. I don't really smell much, but. Me neither. Ooh, they have that nice shimmer undertone, too. Sorry, y'all, I had cat hair on my hand. And um, next we have Honeydew Kiwi. Which looks like this. And it has a kiwi colored top and bottom. And I know y'all can hear my cat scratching in the background. <laughs> and, and his eyes are lit up. Her. In her her eyes, excuse me. And Beam. then this here one don't really have the goat under it, but it has a slight shimmer to it. These are supposed to be really cool and refreshing on your lips and... When I get to a flavor that I really like the scent of, I'm going to try one and see if it is. Next, we have Coco Loco, which has brown top and bottom and white inside, like a coconut. And we're going to try it right here. And, and surprisingly, it looks like it leaves a light pink kind of shimmer. Then we have this Pomegranate Zing. Which has a very nice cherry red bottom and top. Has some pomegranates on it and the Smoothie Chills logo. Very pretty red there. I hope it leaves a red. 
Yeah, at least a pretty pink. Let's try this on the lips. Now, keep in mind, I can't see myself, so we're going by feel. The smell is a lot stronger when I'm putting it on. I can tell that. We'll wait a few minutes and see if that coolness kicks in. Now, I'm going to ask my boyfriend who's right in the camera about it. The color, how's it look? It actually looks pretty good. It's like, it's not like too dark red, but it's like kind of like in between the light and the dark, like in the medium. So kind of like a medium, like, like you're biting your lips kind of. Okay. Yeah. Next we have Oh My Akai, which is Akai Berry. And it has a purplish on the top and bottom. And it's pink inside. We're going to try it over here. It leaves a very light, you know, crystal looking shimmer. I like that. And these do have slight cooling effects. I mean, I've had it on, what, about 45 seconds? And I can really feel it kicking in now. Then we have Citrus Squeeze. And as you can tell, this is a mix. It's got orange, lemon, and lime all on it. I'm sure it's going to smell real good. And it's got this red-orange, kind of a burnt orange, top and bottom. <laughs> and it's funny how they kind of miscut that. But you see, it's an orange in there. We're going to swatch it right here. Ooh, it has that slight gold undertone to it. Really nice. We only have two more to go. This is Vanilla Orange Zest. And as you can tell, it has vanilla flowers and orange on it. And then it has a, kind of a goldenrod color for top and bottom. And it's a very nice orange inside. It's kind of cracked some, though. Did you notice that? Close up on that. You see the cracks on that? But, you know, we got it at a place where it was more reasonable. So, these are, these are 808 of Walmart for an 8-pack. Look at that. That is that beautiful gold again. So they do that in like about three shades. It's not just the main one that it was on earlier. And here's the last one of this haul. And this is the Jamaican Me Berry Crazy. And I gotta be careful about berries because I'm allergic to raspberries. But, but it's looking like on here, well... I don't know what kind of berry. That's boysenberry, I believe. Okay, and then this is strawberry. So maybe I'll be okay with this. We're going to go ahead and try it. And it's like a light pink. So now that we're through with the haul, look over here. I'm going to say that my favorites out of each bunch, I'll tell you. Now, my favorite out of out of uh, the best flavors is definitely the Dr. Pepper. I am without a doubt a big fan of the Dr. Pepper. And then... I hate Dr. Pepper. Well, I don't like the drink, but I love the smell of it. Yeah. And then I absolutely love this Coca-Cola Squeezy with the little key ring. Now, of these... I don't know, it's about equal for me, and I want to try other flavors of it. But right now, I'm going to go with the eucalyptus mint, because I like eucalyptus and mint both. So, the eucalyptus would be my favorite. Now, I wasn't just absolutely crazy about the flavors in the Descendants set, which the cat seemed to have taken one of them. But, uh... Oh, this... <laughs> No, not that. It was another one of these. But the cat seemed to have taken one. But I would say that my favorite was the, the Evie Baked Muffins. Which has a nice spice cake scent to it. So, um... Uh, see, they took one of these, too. My cats have been making off with my little balls while we've been doing the video. It's all good. We'll, we'll find the other ones in a minute. 
But, you know, out of the many miles, they were all, you know, just pretty average. So I didn't really have a favorite. I, I guess the cotton candy was probably the best out of those three. I mean, yeah, there were only three in each pack, so they are there. So moving on to the... Moving on to the um, garden collection. Color-wise, I really, really loved the gold shimmer that came through on this citrus sunflower one. But, you know, scent-wise, I think that my favorite was absolutely the coconut orchid. It reminded me so much of the Hawaiian Tropic sunblock. Out of these smoothie ones, I'm going to say I really love this pomegranate zing, and it's what's on my lips right now. It has a real nice cooling feel to it. And I did also like, what was the one I said smelled real good? I think it was the coconut and the citrus. So I'd say like these three were my favorite out of that. Overall, I do think that this was an excellent haul. And I will try to bring you more hauls in the future. They might not always be lip balms. They might, they might also be some book hauls or like some eBay hauls of random stuff I get off there. But do definitely look forward to seeing more hauls from us. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, like and subscribe down below. Thank you.